This is a video of the Richard Pate School Raspberry Pi project. We have made a door answering system that helps the elderly and disabled answer the door. Hello, we are the Raspberry Pi team. I'm Kitten. I'm Miles. I'm Joseph. I'm Nina. I'm Fira. And I'm Olivia. The PA Consulting have organised a competition on the Raspberry Pi, which is a small credit card sized computer. It looks like this. And you have to write a computer program and enter in for an invention. Before we had uh, chose this idea, we came up with a few hours. Very silly one, like the heat sensor barter and um, electricity and gas monitor and um, detecting people on the road. But the inspiration for doing um, a lot for elderly and disabled people um, was actually Mr. Hooper's help a lot and my brother is disabled. And um, we tried to keep a minimal amount of things for us, so we chose, so the big things we only got four of. So we got a lock that goes on the door, um, which is which unlocks two of a certain code that's posted by this number pad. And that's connected to the screen, which shows, uh, which is connected to this number pad that, um, if you type in a certain number, shows um, writing on what the person inside is trying to say to the person outside. And now we're going to show you exactly what it does. So we're going to have an old lady who moves really slowly, and Nina is going to be the old lady, and the other four are going to be visitors. So Keishan is going to be a first, the first visitor, and he's going to be someone who knows Nina, but he doesn't know the code to the door. These people are all So he's rung the door, but instead of answering the code, because he doesn't know. Nina has to type in the code, and it's uh, on the screen. He says, please come to the window so I can see you. So Keisha goes to the window. Now Nina knows who he is. He is. She can type in another code. And it's all right for <coughs> And Miles is going to be Nina's nephew. But, um, and he does know the code. And Joseph's going to be someone with a parcel for Nina, but he can't fit through the letterbox. box. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So he's going to ring the doorbell, because Nina's an old woman, it's going to take her a long time to get to the door. Five minutes. Five minutes when we get to the door. So Joseph waits five minutes while Nina gets to the door. That's not really five minutes, but he's spent it up there. Nina's back at the door, so Joseph can give him a parcel. Now Olivia is the neighbourhood nuisance who is going to try and get it. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Hooper tried us out at his mother-in-law's house and she said she really liked um, the um, padlock graphics and all the graphics on the screen. But she also like but she also thought the ribbon should be a bit longer. She couldn't really um, we only had a limited amount of items because we could only spend fifty pounds. If we could spend more, we'll have a microphone and a speaker for so the person inside could speak to the person outside and the website and the street so you can see the person outside. Um that concludes our presentation. Uh, we are now open for questions. <laughs> I've got a question. How did you find working as a team? Uh, very There's some slip ups along the way. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the jobs. The jobs. Yeah, we had to. Um, we had to. Basically, we're working in sort of little groups. Like uh, Joseph wrote the main program, and I did this costume design for. I designed that. Mia <coughs> did the template, and Keisha did the graphics for the for the code padlock, and. And Miles did the costume. The costumes were finished first, and then Joseph and Nina finished. Joseph finished his, then Nina finished hers, and then Olivia, who I think had the most difficult job, finished hers last, and we put it all together on one computer, and it worked. <laughs>